So it's day nine now of Ukraine's audacious attack into Russian territory. Russia hasn't been invaded for over 80 years. In fact, in 1941, Operation Barbarossa, Second World War. But on Tuesday last week, Ukraine mounted a probing operation into Russian territory. We understand using about a thousand troops, about 20 tanks, uh, probably just testing to see what sort of Russian response would be. But given the Russian response has been fairly muted, it's pretty evident that Ukraine has been bolstering that position quite significantly. And uh, we uh, understand from uh, the commander of the Ukrainian Armed Forces, uh, General Sierski, yesterday that uh, now Ukraine has claimed about a thousand square kilometers of Russian territory. Now, the critics again would say this is an absolute folly, waste of resources. I have to say, from a military perspective, I think it's all about momentum, all about seizing the initiative. And my goodness, has Ukraine done that? It's also demonstrated that Russia is not in control of this war. And just imagine the impact on morale on the battlefield. Uh, this is a huge fill up after a difficult summer that Ukraine can use. The real question now is what next? Um, Ukraine's foreign minister has made very clear that they've no intention of holding ground. There's been all sorts of conjecture that this is actually about creating a negotiating position. I have to say that looks very unlikely. President Putin is likely to react very strongly to this and is not going to give up uh, easily. The challenge for the Ukrainians is that the longer they stay, the more embarrassing it is for President Putin. Um, however, um, the longer they stay, the more likely it is Putin will um, wreak a ruthless response and that risks the people, the soldiers and of course the military equipment. Regardless, this has clearly rattled the Russian president. It is definitely easing pressure on the front line because Russian resources, some of the best troops are having to be moved north to deal with this. But I think what happens next will be absolutely key. Will this be a strategic success for Ukraine or a tactical error? This is Sean Bell for the Red Matrix podcast.